The Trojan War, a tale that has echoed through history, is more than a story. It's an adventure that takes us to the heart of ancient Greece. Welcome to Unraveling Mythology. Join us as we journey back to the city of Troy and witness a war that shaped myths for generations. Welcome to the world of the Trojan War, a grand conflict between the Greeks and Trojans that's more than mere myth. This epic tale, rooted in history and legend, takes us on a journey filled with passion, betrayal, and heroism. From the sparking of the war to the fall of Troy, every twist and turn is a testament to the complexities of human nature and the timeless tales that continue to captivate us. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of this ancient saga. Many years ago, when the mighty Greek gods inhabited Mount Olympus, Zeus decided to marry the king of Pythia, Pileus, with a sea fairy, Thetis. The wedding took place in Pelion, and all the gods and goddesses were invited, except Eris, the goddess of quarrel, for obvious reasons. Furious at being left out, she tossed a golden apple inscribed with To the Fairest One onto the table where the Olympians were sitting. Three goddesses, Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite, sought to claim the apple, each arguing about who was the fairest. Zeus, not wanting to choose, decided that Paris, a prince of Troy, should judge their case. With Hermes as a guide, Paris inspected the three goddesses, each of whom offered him gifts. Hera promised to make him king of Europe and Asia. Athena offered wisdom and skill in war. Aphrodite promised him the most beautiful woman on earth, Helen. After serious contemplation, Paris gave the golden apple to Aphrodite and set sail for Sparta to claim Helen, the wife of Menelaus, king of Sparta. But there was a problem. Helen was already married. Paris's abduction of Helen led to outrage. Menelaus felt betrayed and dishonored, and his brother Agamemnon rallied kings and heroes from all over Greece, vowing to retrieve Helen and reclaim their honor. The stage was set, the players were in place, and the spark of romance had ignited a fire that would soon engulf the ancient world in the most epic war of all time, the Trojan War. The ships were prepared, and the warriors gathered, their eyes fixed on the distant shores of Troy, where destiny awaited. The act of Paris, influenced by divine intervention, resulted in a conflict that lasted ten years and became an enduring legend, a tale filled with heroism, betrayal, and the ever-present hand of fate. In the epic clash between the Greeks and the Trojans, legends were forged and heroes were born. On the Greek side stood Achilles, the unmatched champion. His strength was legendary, and none could rival him in battle. Born to a mortal father and a sea nymph mother, he was dipped in the river Styx, making him nearly invincible. Yet, vulnerability remained at his heel, a secret that would prove fateful. Alongside Achilles, Odysseus, the clever Greek king of Ithaca, played a crucial role in the Trojan War. Known for his wisdom, guile, and brilliant tactical mind, he became a key strategist for the Greek forces. Odysseus's intellect and cunning were unmatched, his ability to think several steps ahead of his adversaries made him one of the most formidable figures in the war. Defending the city of Troy was Hector, the noble Trojan prince and the firstborn son of King Priam. Valiant, honorable, and deeply devoted to his family and people, he was the defender of his city and the bulwark of Trojan honor. As a loving husband to Andromache and a doting father, Hector's personal life was a stark contrast to his ferocity on the battlefield. His skill in battle was unparalleled among the Trojans, making him their greatest warrior. Beyond the central figures of Achilles, Hector and Odysseus, the Trojan War's tapestry was woven with other illustrious names. Ajax, the mighty Greek hero, wielded a colossal shield and spear, displaying brute strength on the battlefield. Aeneas, a Trojan ally and descendant of the gods, showed unflinching courage and was destined to become a founder of Rome. Diomedes, the fearless Greek king of Argos, was known for his valiant fighting and even wounded the god Ares in battle. Nestor, the wise and seasoned king of Pylos, provided sage advice to the Greek forces. On the Trojan side, Sarpedon, a son of Zeus, fought with honor, and Paris, 
whose judgment sparked the war, wielded his bow with deadly accuracy. For ten long years, the Greeks laid siege to the mighty walls of Troy, a city renowned for its strength and fortifications. Despite their superior numbers and the presence of the greatest warriors of the age, the Greeks found Troy's defences impenetrable. The battles raged on, with neither side yielding an inch, and the war seemed without end. Throughout the decade-long siege, there were numerous battles, duels and skirmishes that kept both sides at the edge of their abilities. The conflict saw great heroes clashing in individual combat, such as the epic confrontations between Achilles and Hector, where their skills and valour became the stuff of legends. The Greeks and Trojans engaged in ferocious battles, both on land and at sea, each marked by its own drama, heroism and tragedy. Warriors like Diomedes and Aeneas demonstrated extraordinary courage, often turning the tide of battle in their favour. Alliances were made and broken, adding complexity and intrigue to the unfolding drama. The war was a series of dramatic turning points, with neither side willing to give an inch, each victory met with a counter-attack, and each defeat leading to renewed determination. In the end, it was not brute force, but cunning that brought down Troy's mighty walls. The Greeks, under the strategic genius of Odysseus, constructed a colossal wooden horse, hollowed out to conceal a select group of warriors inside. Presenting it as a gift to the Trojans and feigning retreat, the Greeks left the horse at Troy's gates. The Trojans, believing the war was won, brought the horse inside their city walls. As night fell, celebration filled the city of Troy, the sounds of victory echoing through the streets. But as the Trojans slept, the hidden Greeks emerged from the Trojan horse, opening the gates to their waiting comrades. The Greek forces flooded into the city, catching the Trojans completely off guard. A brutal and horrific battle ensued, filled with the clang of swords, the cries of the wounded, and the terror of surprise. Houses were set ablaze, streets ran red with blood, and chaos reigned as the Greeks exacted their vengeance. The once mighty city of Troy was reduced to ashes, its glory extinguished in a single night of treachery and violence. The fall of Troy marked a sombre conclusion to the epic war, with a night filled with battle, horror, and gore. Many notable figures met their end, including Paris, who was killed in battle, and wise King Priam, who was killed during the sack of Troy. Hector, the valiant Trojan prince, had already been slain by Achilles, who himself later fell to an arrow to his heel. The fate of Helen, whose beauty had sparked the war, was a subject of various interpretations. In some versions, she was taken back to Sparta by Menelaus, her original husband, after he spared her life. Their reunion was not without tension, but they were said to have reconciled, and Helen resumed her place as the queen of Sparta. In other versions, Helen's return to Greece was met with scorn and bitterness. For the Greeks, victory was bittersweet and their journey home was fraught with difficulty. The most legendary of these journeys was that of Odysseus, the crafty king of Ithaca. His voyage home, chronicled in the Odyssey, was a perilous adventure that lasted ten years, encountering mystical beings like the alluring sirens, the fearsome cyclops, and the enchanting witch Circe. Odysseus navigated these trials with intellect and fortitude. Finally, after enduring countless hardships, he returned to Ithaca, where he was reunited with his faithful wife, Penelope, and his son, Telemachus. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Trojan War, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment about your favorite part of the story, or any questions you might have.